I am here with Faith and Buddy's Little Girl Purple F1B Golden Doodle, Little Mini Golden Doodle Girl. We do some temperament testing. Hmm. Feeling snuggling? I just woke you up from a nap. Okay, I know it's kind of one of those days where it's sunny and then it rains and then it's sunny and then it rains. But we need rain. So this is the first time out on the porch alone without her litter mates. And actually she's never been on this porch before. So this is a brand new space. Really love the way she follows me. She's not really underfoot. Oh, she's a little pouncy. A little pouncy thing. Yes, you are. Hi, baby. Hi, come over here. Hi. Hi there. On your back. Most puppies don't like this. It's a very unnatural position for them to be placed in. But I love what I'm seeing with her. There's nice on eye contact. She's a little stiff, but she's relaxed, if that makes any sense. She's not fighting at all. Oh, there she goes. Nice in the air. She's relaxing. Look at those back legs. You're like little turkey legs. Good, oh, nice job. Nice blinky eyes. Good girl. Hi, how are you? Oh, thank you, you wanna give kisses? Hi, oh, and you were very quick to forgive? Thank you, very forgiving puppy. Good girl. What a good girl. She's not really too intrusive, which I really love. She kinda has her space and she she respects your bubble. Hmm? Is that what you do? Do you respect bubbles? Hmm? Maybe you do. Okay. Little elevation here. Again, very relaxed. This would be like putting her on a table at a vet's office or a oh, big, big sigh. Oh, that's always excellent to see. Or possibly being put on a grooming table, but absolutely not worried about that at all. Hi, you ready? We're gonna get some toys out. Hmm? Yes, yes we are. The first thing we'll do is some sound distraction. See what she does with a loud noise. She is completely unfazed by that. Nice recovery. She actually didn't need to recover at all. She wasn't backing off at all. Oh, and this is a natural sit, and that's what we love. Oh, you guys will hear me say stuff about natural sits all the time. Great indicators for training. I know, that was lame, sorry. Go ahead, go get it. Oh, good try. Good try. We'll try again. Come on, ready? Go. <laughs> you don't know what to do with that, do you? Not like a typical ball. Look at you. You are just cute as a button. Very curious. Wants to play with it. I love the fact that she did not put her mouth on it. She only used her paws. Typically, we find this breed to be very soft-mouthed. Now we're gonna do our umbrella trick. Sometimes this can be scary for puppies. So she's standing behind me or sitting behind me because she's a little worried, which is totally fine, totally normal. She's not really interested in checking it out just yet. And she may not be, which will be fine. Definitely errs on the side of caution. She's finally built a little confidence to come and investigate it. So that's really good. So she's a thinking puppy, which is really, really good to have. Um, she is not a puppy that's going to run blindly into danger, I don't think. I think that she is, I, I don't know if you guys can see that natural sit, but oh my God, I just, Cannot get enough of that. Come over here, little Miss Meow. Come here, hi. Come over here, hi. Thank 
you. Hi, thank you, sweet pea. So this is little girl purple, a thinking puppy, which is very, very good. She respects your bubble, which is another really nice thing for a puppy to do. She is not mouthy, although that may change with teething, which it usually does, but she is not very orally fixated like their golden retriever counterparts can be. So that's actually really good. She's doing natural sits, and I think that she is a great candidate for training. She's gonna be a wonderful obedience dog, or maybe even an ESA. Yep, maybe even therapy. What do you think about that? Is that a possibility? Maybe, maybe. This is Little Girl Purple. Thanks for watching, everyone. I love you.